It's that time of the day for The Law and You, featuring two of the heirs from your attorneys with us today. We have Molly Clark and Greg Fellerman. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi there. We're glad you're back to answer our viewer questions. So let's get to this one today that was submitted online by Kevin and Jessup. Kevin saying, I was walking home from work when a car came up on the sidewalk and hit me. The driver did not have insurance. I was hospitalized for two weeks. What can I do? All right, Molly, what advice do you have for Kevin? Uh, Kevin, the first thing you need to do is contact uh, your insurance agent, uh, report the claim. Uh, obviously, you've had some, some treatment. You need to follow up with your treatment and make sure you're able to document all your injuries. You, do, you will be able to have a claim even if he doesn't have insurance. You could go after your uh, un uninsured uh, motorist coverage. Hopefully, you have that. You'll have to get your policy and see what you have there. Um, there may be some criminal charges that, are, that could be filed against this guy, but as far as insurance and being able to get you some type of recovery, you want to get your policy, look at your policy, document everything, get a police report, any photographs, any witness statements, things of that nature will be very, very helpful in this situation. But hopefully, hopefully there's some coverage there for you and, and you can right. get the it's another, recovery you deserve. Another example of why you have to protect yourself with your insurance. The under and uninsured motorist coverages are very essential to protecting you and your family. So take your time, read your policy. If you have questions, call us. We can direct you how to, you know, get better insurance to make sure in this situation that it, you're, you're protected. Because a lot of people just kind of think, oh, well, I don't need it because you can actually waive it, which is crazy. You can waive under and uninsured motorist protection by really just signing your name on a form that you may or may not really be paying attention to. And those rights are just huge because a lot of people in PA have minimal limits or no coverage. And that creates a problem for you and your family if you're injured. So, great question. All right, some great advice from attorneys Greg Fellerman and attorney Molly Clark. Thank you so much for your time today. If you have a question for the law on you, you can submit it at pahomepage.com or you can give the hotline a call.